Hello everyone, it's me Richmond. Today we are working on the air conditioning system of an automobile and what we're doing is we are injecting oil into that system. Come over on the bench here and I'll show you the tool we're going to use. Here is the tool we're going to be using. It is a refillable expandable injector. It's the type that you twist the outer tube forces the oil into the system. Now in this particular one there are no directions so we're going to have to try to figure it out as we go along. If we look at it we can see that the inner tube has graduations on it that go from quarter of an ounce to two ounces. So in our case we're going to be using a quarter of an ounce. So we will turn the outer tube until it lines up with that quarter mark, but then we're going to come down here and we have the starting line. So I presume they want us to turn outward till that line lines up with this center line right here. Now we got that. What about the fill line? How far do we fill it up? What I'm going to do is measure from this surface to this surface and it is three-eighths of an inch. That's the part that's going to protrude down in to the inner tube. So what we'll do is we'll measure down three-eighths of an inch from this surface right here and that will be our fill line. Now, on a description of this unit, they said it will do R12. That doesn't look like R12 to me. Now, this looks similar to what an R12 fitting would be. So that's something that you have to be aware of if you want to do the R12. But in our case, we're doing the R134A, uh, so there is no problem there. Now, what about the air? How do we get the air out of the line? Now, what you could do, take the quick connection off, and you could probably force the air up the hose to this point right here. But I think I have a better idea. I took an old line, cut it off. You can see it has the low port attached to it. So what we'll do is we'll put that on the hose, force the air up the hose to this point right here and then we see the oil we will disconnect it and all the air should be out of the hose at that point all right so that's the plan let's get to work now this pag oil has dye in it Almost there. Yep, that's about three eighths from the top. All right. 
Snarl on. Fittings are tight. We're going to measure the ounces that come out of the injector to see if it is correct. So we're measuring 0.21. That is very close to a quarter of an ounce. Just a little shy. All right, we're going to put on our special little bleeder here now we're going to turn our injector till we see a little bit of oil there and then we'll start That's it. All right, we're going to put our injector on the low port. Now we're going to start the engine up and put the AC on. And we're going to keep turning it till it stops. That's it, bottomed out. So I should have about a quarter ounce of oil now in the system. Now after we're done with the injector, we want to be careful because there could be some pressure inside there so we want to relieve the pressure. Okay, pressure is all out. 
All right, we just injected about a quarter of an ounce of oil into the system. Now, the reason I only used a small amount like that is that the system does have oil in it. And I checked it, and it seems to be low. So what we're going to do is we're going to recheck it, and then if it needs more oil, we can inject more oil in it. But that's it. That's all there is to injecting oil in your AC system. Thanks for watching, guys.